is closed captioned in English and Spanish subtitles. Hello, guys. Summer is around the corner, and nothing is better than a lovely trip to the beach. Am I right? Well, what if you lived on the beach? You will have to step out of your house, and voila, you are there. But the problem with beach towns is that they are often expensive, like you marry Hop Beach in Dubai and places in Malibu. But since I live the past 30 years in beach towns currently in Cancun, I got the perfect video for you. We are going to talk about the top 10 cheapest beach towns in the world. So you enjoy the beach life vibe and don't strain your pocket at the same time. So let's begin. Number one, Las Terrenas, Dominican Republic. I lived for 11 years here in the Dominican Republic, and Las Terrenas was always my favorite town to go to for the weekends and enjoy their beautiful beaches and mountains and vibrant night scene. You can find some of the greatest, most affordable oceanfront homes in the Caribbean. But the real deal is the expat community in Las Terrenas. A couple of decades back, Europeans came from vacations and stuff, but they fell in love with the area and decided to stay. It is a beautiful place, and once you go, it's quite difficult to want to leave. Once you are an established resident, it's very easy to own a business or work remotely from here. You will always have an adventure here at Las Terrenas. At Las Terrenas, it is home to a variety of attractions and things to do. The nature is just amazing here, a true tropical paradise. The cost of living here is around $1,400. It's probably half or even a quarter of the cost of your current expenses. I highly recommend this cozy beach town. Number two, Cartagena, Colombia. Ever wanted to go on Caribbean vacations, but it was a little too expensive? Well, we have got the alternative for you guys. Cartagena has almost everything the Caribbean has, and it's way cheaper. You like partying, boring history, or outdoor activities? Then Cartagena will deliver. The center of the city is a historical museum of Spanish colonial architecture. The nightlife is lit, and a night out will cost you around $100. Don't worry about partying a little too hard because Cartagena has a surprisingly good hospital and you can get comprehensive health insurance for under $50 a month. It's a fantastic place to be, guys, and it will cost you around $1,800 a month, so it isn't going to be expensive. Honestly, it's a great place to call home as the town will provide all amenities that one would need. Number three, Hoi An, Vietnam. Vietnam usually doesn't appear on top travel destinations as most of the big cities like Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh are visited by expats, but both the cities lack nice beaches. But the town of Hoi An is an entirely different story. It is surrounded by one side by the mountains, and on the other side, it has beautiful beaches. The city, a UNESCO heritage site, and you can get a house or apartment for around $300 a month. You might have to fork up $200 more for a nicer home, but it has all the amenities you might need. To move around and fully experience the feel of your new home, you could rent a motorbike, which is about $60. The total monthly cost of living can range between $550 to $1,100. Now, the problem with Hoi An is that the place is ancient and the infrastructure has started to give out. Often the streets get flooded and with the high temperatures, moving around becomes difficult. There is a problem with clean water and there is more type of disease carrying bugs than you could count. But on the plus side, you get to live like a king on a pauper's budget. So when you decide to make the shift, do weigh the cons against the pros. Number four, Pedasi, Panama. Do you want a huge span of beach just for yourself? Well, then head on down to Pedasi, Panama. You just have to fly into Panama City, rent a car, and drive four hours to the tip of the Azera Peninsula on the Pacific coast. Patasi has some of the most beautiful rock formations, and with only 1,500 people living in the area, you won't even have to worry about privacy or overcrowding on the beaches. You can rent beach houses that are around $500 per month. There is even a community of 250 expats living there, and even the locals are quite welcoming. You will find everything you might need for a day-to-day -day living, and the place is very safe. Anything you don't find here can be found in Las Tablas, a 45-minute drive away. You will love the place. It's quiet, it's beautiful, and it's cheap for around $1,300. You live comfortably here. What else could you want in a new home? Number five, Split Croatia. You may believe that European coastlines are much more expensive than the previous entries on our list, but you can find a good bargain deal in Split. The little town is on the Adriatic Sea, and its beaches are some of the most famous in the world. People from all over the world come to chill and relax here every summer. 
the rent in the city center is less than $550 per month, and despite the international flow of tourists, the beer is less than $3 in most of the bars. If you want to become a permanent resident, you can have two different lifestyles. One is in the summer, where they are roaring crowds of tourists everywhere. And then there are the chill winters when Split is a quiet, sleepy beach town. It also has a great history, and the folks here are extremely friendly. It will cost you around $1,400 per month. Number six, Tangu, Bali. Bali is considered to be one of the best surf towns in the South Pacific. It has built an exciting and frankly unique community with artists, designers, yoga instructors, startup gurus, and other foreigners all living in the same place. This gives the city a youthful but rustic vibe. The city will feel like more of a Hawaiian surf town that you may find on the less populated islands. There are cafes, restaurants, and juice stands all over the place, and every day there is a party going on somewhere. Honestly, it is something for everyone, and you should definitely give this place a chance. And it won't even cost you much. Rent in Bali goes as low as $200. Although things like milk, wine, and other imports are a little costly, you can easily manage your budget within $500 to $900. There's a couple of issues as well. For example, the public internet isn't reliable. One last thing. If you can't stand bugs, you definitely won't like Bali. So consider all these things before you make the final move. Number seven. Algarve, Portugal. So, the number seven on our list is Algarve. It's a beautiful town in Portugal with nearly 100 miles of coastline, cobblestone streets, and sunnier than probably any other city or town in Europe. Most of the population living here speak English. And the best thing about this town is that it's dirt cheap. The rent for a three-bedroom apartment is around $950. But if you want to settle in the center, then you could get a one-bedroom apartment for about $650 in the middle of the city. Beers are barely worth $2, and if you feel like eating out, you would only be spending approximately $10, depending on what you eat. If you miss the big city vibe, you could always visit Lisbon, which is nearby. The total estimated cost of living comes to around $1,500. Cheap, right? Number 8. Diani Beach, Kenya Kenya is famously known for its amazing safari wildlife, but people often miss out on the white sand beaches. A dip in the Indian Ocean will wash away all your weariness and immediately relax you. Diani Beach is located just an hour or so drive away from Mobasa. The beaches have everything you could ever need. Still, water due to coral reefs. Enjoy a paddleboard, kite surfing, kayaking, deep sea fishing, beachside shacks with local Swahili dishes, and a peaceful nightlife. You can get a place to stay ranging from $200 to $2,000. The higher end is usually when you want to feel fancy, and you get five bedrooms, a gated compound, and a pool, but those are usually reserved for tourists. The beach is also near an elephant sanctuary, and you can even swim with the whale sharks on a water safari. The monthly cost of living comes to around $500 to $1,000 without rent. For employment opportunities, you can become part of the roaring tourist industry at the beach or look for other employment opportunities in Mobasa. Number 9. Rodan, Honduras Rodan is the largest of Honduras's three bay island. It's 40 miles long and is surrounded by the Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, which is the largest in the Caribbean Sea. The second largest after Australia's Great Barrier Reef. It's an amazing place with all kinds of things to do. You have great accommodations on the beach, tempting beach bars, and if snorkeling is your thing, they have some great spots for that as well. So, as I said, it's quite the place. The monthly cost of living here is around $1,500 to $2,000. There's also a local grocery store chain that usually imports stuff from Europe and America. But even if you can't find your choice of groceries, the local brands are good. Long-term rent leases are usually around $600 a month, while your own house will cost you around $50,000 to $200,000, depending on where you buy your property. Number 10, Penang, Malaysia. This is a great place to get a variety of experiences. If you choose to live here, you have got beaches on your doorstep, rainforests, a temple, and an amazing variety of tasty local cuisines. Penang is considered the food island of Southeast Asia. So if you spend your day on the beach, you must try the delightful food in the evening. Another great advantage of Penang is that English is widely spoken, so you won't be stuck looking for a translator. The healthcare is okay and cheap, and it has got a great transport system. Renting a one-bedroom apartment will put you back around $260, while a meal at a normal restaurant is worth only $2.40. And the local stores will meet all your daily needs. Cost of living is around $1,000. So, what are you guys waiting for? Become a permanent member of this wonderful city. 
So that's all the time we have today. Hope you liked the video. Do tell us about your favorite beach towns in the comments below and subscribe to see similar videos directly on your feeds. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications from your page. Goodbye. See you next time.